Okay, here we go. What's going on, everybody? The other day I did a video that was posted on Eric and Daryl Live on on YouTube, and I decided uh, it was called Guess the 80s TV Show Theme Song, and I did a great job, and now I'm going to try and do the second part to that video, and we'll see if I know all the theme songs in this next round on here, okay? So let's go. Guess the TV show theme song, 80s part two, okay? I'm going to do my best. You will hear the theme song for 15 seconds. If you need more time, you can always pause the video. I've had a lot of requests, blah, 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 blah. So he made another video. Let's see if there's anything on here I can get or if I'm going to suck complete butt at this. Here we go. Oh, that's too familiar. That's Alf. Alf, baby. He kind of talks like this. Okay. And the answer is... Tell me. Alf. What do you know? I did not cheat this. Just so you know, I did not cheat this. Oh. Oh. Is it some kind of hospital thing? With Quincy? Is it Quincy? Oh, that's 70s, I think. It's a hospital thing. Oh, it's saying elsewhere. I knew it was a hospital thing. It makes me think of people like in all the hospital garb. Maybe the world is blind. Oh, I know this one. Or just I don't know it, but I know it. Do tell me. Don't I'm never going to get this one. And the answer is... Seems you can't be sure. Punky Brewster. I should have known that one. You know what? If they had said... If they had said... I don't know what this song is playing yet. I recognize it. But if they had said... A young girl who grew up to be a teenager and get breast reduction surgery. I would have said... Sulio Moonfry from Punky Brewster. <laughs> I know that. It's not a song, but I know it. All right. Yeah. This is familiar. I do not know who it is. It's not Mr. Belvedere, is it? I'm just giving a shot in the dark. Is it Mr. Belvedere? Oh, my God. No, it's not. It's Benson. I was thinking some Mr. Belvedere's the butler. Benson's the black dude. And I had it. I had that in my mind. Oh, come on. Really? Next generation. Too easy. Way too easy. Wesley Crusher. Captain. That's right. I told you so. I know that one. That one's too darn easy. Onward. Next. Next. Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been Is it the fall guy? I'm guessing the fall guy. Is it the fall guy? Do tell. Yes, it's the fall guy. And I'm picturing her in a bikini right now in my brain. should know this let it play only 15 seconds i'm never gonna get this one i have no idea who are we here um 30 something i never would have gotten that one you could have threatened my life i never would have gotten that one i don't have any clue what the hell this is it's cheesy and i hate horns that sound like that okay Oh, it's a little familiar, but no, I don't know. What the hell is that? Spencer for Hire. I know the title of the show. I never watched that. I never would have known that song. Oh. Who is this? It's not... I should know this, but I don't. Tell me now. Airwolf. I wanted to say Firefox. Oh, Airwolf. There's something in the brain. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's familiar as well. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get this one, but it's familiar. 
Oh, Remington Steel. Man. Earlier, one of these songs playing, I thought Remington Steel. Oh, this is those two dudes. Oh, those two dudes in the car. Stop. Um, I need to think about this one second. Oh, come on. Suck butt. I know it's two dudes. Um... Starsky and Hutch is what I'm guessing. Am I right? Am I right? I'm going to celebrate if I'm right right now. Simon and Simon! (laughs) That's so close. And that dude on the right there, amazing actor. Amazing actor. Um, um, I think he also did uh, part in a major dad, but he was also... uh, Hurst and Deadwood, and he was that's the best thing I will always remember him for is Hurst and Deadwood. Simon and Simon, so close on some of these. Drinking my brain. Oh, come on. That don't even need to hear more of that. That is an um, the greatest American hero. Too easy. And that also happens to be the thumbnail, but I would have gotten that one no problem. I've tried to sing this one for karaoke, but the high range is just a little out of my range, if you know what I mean. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel. Go on. No way am I going to get this. And the answer is what? In the beginning, just loops like that? That's weird. I'll never get it. Cagney and... No, Kate and Allie. Okay. I... Whatever. Oh, this rings a bell. I don't know who the heck this is. I don't think even if I pause this, I'm not going to get this. It's familiar. And I'm going to be like, oh. Okay, so let's see if I'm... Oh, okay. Whatever, Matlock. My gram- grandma used to watch that show. I think my mom did too. I love myself a good courtroom drama. What? No, that does not ring a bell. Nope, not gonna get this one. Cagney and Lacey! I already said Cagney and Lacey before, but I it was Kate Nally or whatever. <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh, oh. Is this the ladies? Um uh hold on. But this would be the 70s, isn't it? It says the 80s, but is this... um, What are those? Charlie's Angels, what I want to say, but I don't know if that's it. I love that bass. That's nice. Tell me who. Oh! Heart to heart. Oh, man. Dude, crazy story with Robert Wagner with the lady who fell off the boat in his life. Crazy story followed that poor guy around forever. I don't know if you did it, but it's fishy. Oh, come on. Who's the boss? So easy. Hey, oh, oh, wait. Who's the boss? We'll be back in a moment. Stick around. Angela. Times. I lost a dream or two. Oh, come on. Night Court. Easy. Too easy. Challenge me. Challenge me a little bit, okay? I've watched that show several times even in the last year, so impossible not to know that. A lot of funny, goofy stuff. There's this dude in the audience um, in a lot of the shows. I think it was a live studio audience, and you hear him laughing kind of (laughs) like... On a lot of these episodes. And it always makes it more funny. Marky Post, super hot. They were always recasting the role of this lead lady. The the lady Ross was replaced by two other elderly ladies who both passed away on the TV show. And I loved this show. And um, 
Those two old ladies were really funny, and so was this lady. Everyone on here was always very funny. Of course, I miss Harry Anderson. So very funny. This dude, I can't remember his name, the guy who plays Bull. He's damn funny. And he won Buco Emmys for this show right here. Um, John Larroquette. He was damn funny. I know too much about this show. All this useless knowledge in my brain, but I can't think of how to save the world. I do this instead. Laugh! Oh, come on. I should, but I should be knowing this. It would help if I could hear more of it. 15 seconds isn't a lot. Let's hear it. Oh, Moonlighted. I never would have gotten that, but I definitely liked that show when I was younger. And boy, I've always thought Sybil Shepherd was a babe when she was younger. I've even, I've been like seeking on Google. I go, I'll go and Google. I'll be like, Sybil Shepherd young? Sybil Shepherd bikini? Sybil Shepherd sexy? Ooh. This is Mr. Belvedere. This is the one I thought Benson was. Am I right? If this is Mr. Belvedere, I am the greatest mind in the world. My long-term memory is superior to everyone's long-term memory. Mr. Belvedere. Oh, no, it's head of the class. So, I take back what I just said. My long-term memory is not better than everyone else's. Oh, my God. Understood. Oh my. Charles in charge, man. As soon as that, I hear the the chorus coming in. Charles in charge of our days. Oh, the controversy with Nicole Eggert. She did not age well, but that other dorky one over there, she grew up to be a fox and she's maintained beautifully. I don't know what happened to this old dude. I know that's Willie something in real life. That's his name. And of course, this is Scott Bayo. I still love that guy. Love him. I would love to have dinner with that guy. He's cool. Controversy between these two, okay? And by the way, I'm not going to remark on that controversy directly, except to say that Nicole Eggert had my eyes so much when I was younger, she could have said, Paul, jump off a cliff. And I would have said, which one? Anyone you want, babe. Let's pick the highest one. Do I get anything for that? Or am I just a chump beta jumping off a cliff for you? Uh, yeah, she's fine there. No doubt, super fine. And even though she's dorky, a lot of girls, a lot of guys go through that teenage dorky phase. This one over here, I don't know her name in real life, but she really, really is good looking still. And what's cooking good looking? That's what I'm saying to you. That's my saying. No, it's not really. I don't remember where I picked up that saying, actually. Um, what's cooking good looking? I don't know. I love the 80s. I don't know. I don't know who this is. It's very familiar. I can't place it, though. I know I'm going to regret not being able to... Oh, man, I know that melody. Of course, TJ Hooker! Oh, my God! With William Shatner, how could I not know that? I used to watch that just to see her, and she definitely is familiar to me, of course. I mean, Heather Locklear is a super gorgeous woman she was on dynasty and then she was on this show and look at that those that amazing smile right there um i have definitely done the search on her too where i'm like heather locklear young google heather locklear sexy google heather locklear bikini especially bikini because you know um, so there's a lot of hot stuff with her. I'm also aware that she used to be married to Tommy Lee. And Tommy Lee was not faithful to her because he is insecure. If you can't be with a woman who looks like this and enjoy her company and her looks, if you have to cheat on that woman, something is wrong with you, man. And it's probably all the drugs and all the other opportunities you had to be... Um, uh, intimate with other women. I'm just going to say intimate, which it's not really a casual, I think would be a better uh, word for Tommy Lee's activity with other women. No, but before we leave, we will zoom in on Heather Locklear's face and be like, 
Look at that beautiful face. And uh, William Shatner still cool here. He is not young Bill Shatner from Star Trek fame in the 60s. But this is uh, a young... He's got nice hair. I bet you he dyed that hair. And I always thought that that dude was cool. If you saw him, I don't know what it, their name... He's TJ Hooker, that guy. I don't know her name. She's Heather Locklear in real life. <laughs> Mama's family. This actress who plays Mama looks like like Carol Burnett. If you've ever seen this show, you know that. Right? It's Mama's Family, right? What a stupid theme song. Right? There's Mama right there. And she, this particular actress lady got her start on uh, Carol Burnett. I think she had a, she's kind of like a Carol Burnett lookalike and... I remember when I was younger, anything that was beautiful and blonde, I was attracted to. So I recall being attracted to this lady. Of course, that's Betty White. And this is the lady. Um, I don't remember her name, but she was on Golden Girls. And I remember being attracted to this lady as a young kid, too. Over here, this one. Pretty lady. And then there's the Golden Girl lady. And you know what scares me is I'm like that lady's age. I am the, near that lady's age, I bet you, on this TV show. And I feel way more youthful. She, I look at her and I still think, Grandma! And right here she is a contemporary as far as age goes. That's not right. You need to dress your age, honey. Why would you be in your 50s trying to look like a grandma? Same with you, Betty White. Sex it up a little bit! <laughs> I'm a little too outrageous about that. I remember this dude and I like him, but I can't tell you anything about him. And this guy here, I wouldn't know that guy... If you paid me, who the hell are you, dude? I remember the women <laughs> and the old dude. Oh, this rings a bell. Let me hear more of it. on the China, never met it before. Oh, come on. I, I know I'm gonna. Is this Mr. Belvedere? As you came through the door, no one glared. Oh, there you go. It's Mr. Belvedere. I know nothing about these characters. I don't even know. Okay, I recognize that dude on the right there. I recognize Mr. Belvedere. I do not recognize this dopey looking guy. Whoops. I do not recognize this dopey guy. Oh, I'll just keep going here. I'll never guess this. I don't have the slightest clue what the hell show this is. Plastic. Made of plastic. Here and there. Hold on. Microchips here and there. That's like a clue. Who would it be? She's fantastic. Made of plastic. It's not It's not like the bionic woman. It wouldn't have that hokey song for the bionic woman. Okay. Let's play it. She's the small one. Oh, yeah. Small one. I never would have gotten that. I recognize that song. Don't even remember that. These are really the cheesy songs from the 80s. The part one had all the all the ones you know because they were cool show cool hit shows. No matter what you do, you can count on me. I'll never no get this. One. Go, oh, this does ring a bell. By your side, I'll be right oh, no, no, no. No one loves you more than I do. Put your head in my Oh, my two dads. I used to see that occasionally, and I remember uh, when I was younger being like, oh, my God, she's hot. I bet um, bet she doesn't look so hot anymore, though. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, is that the Jew? What's his name? Uh, no, no, that's not who I thought it was. Um, a Jewish actor. I'm trying to think of his name. I can't recall. Onward. Can on me. No matter where you go. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm pausing to brain dig through my brain. Boom, 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 boom. Na 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 
Pum, 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 pum. Leave me a... Oh gosh. I will know that I knew this one. Oh, Bosom Buddies. I never would have guessed that one, but the song was so abundantly familiar to me. Yeah, two guys dressing in drag to live in a in a in a a building or something that's full of all women. I think that was the the theme or the story of the show and uh in the day it was controversial today it would be like you know having a cookie nothing controversial there and the previous one tom hanks went on to be a huge actor peter scolari went on to act in new heart and was a very funny guy in his own right, and he passed away. God rest your soul, Peter Scolari. I remember distinctly that you gave me lots of laughs. This is familiar. No. Matt Houston. What the hell is that? Who the hell are you? Get off of my screen, you stranger. hell is this i don't know this either these songs are the reject songs that didn't make the cut so yeah i'll be surprised if i know what show this is because i don't have a clue about this what oh no never watched designing women don't care i hate all of the hair on all those women hold on hold on we're going back to look at the hair on these women this is actually what i hate about the 80s is the hair on women it's a terrible era for the hair of women. And like I knew lots of girls like this who teased it up to the moon. And this is mild. If you want to see hair out of date, watch the movie Working Girl with Harrison Ford. And uh, what's her name? She's married to uh, Antonio Banderas. Uh, whatever her name is. I that's who's who it is, I think. It, 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 I don't know. Oh, you know who else looks like a bucket of shit in um, in Working Girl is Joan Cusack. That's another one of those, um, why do you name your daughter Joan Cusack and your son John Cusack? And then they have this creepy way that they look alike. So every time I'm looking at her, I'm thinking of him and I'm feeling G-A-Y. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Another one of those weird ones where the brother and sister, at least, thank God, do not look alike, is Justin Bateman and Justine Bateman. My God, Justine Bateman, when she was a teenager on uh, Family Ties, I crushed on her hard. So unbelievably cute, that one there. Gave me some laughs, too, on that role. where She played Mallory on Family Ties. Good, good Good, 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 good show. And she's sexy. That's another one where I have done the Google search where I'm like, Justine Bateman, young. Justine Bateman, sexy. Justine Bateman, bikini. And there's not much on her. To be honest with you, I do these searches for women um, and... <laughs> So I'm always like into the characters they play and they play these really nice characters. And then I go and I find them online. You know what? Claire Danes. I was like, I love her. I love Claire Danes. And then I went and I saw her in a thong bikini and I was like, I don't like her at all. She's really too provocative for me. I lose a lot of respect for her. She was that little sweet little girl. And then she's like always crying in Homeland with her. She's got this look. With her lip and stuff. and But, you know, she's a wonderful actress. She can really make me believe that she's a good person. But in real life, she's not. Because I saw her in a bikini. A thong bikini. Uh, I'm fine with bikinis. But if you're wearing a thong bikini and it makes it onto the internet, not a good person. <laughs> That's not fair at all. And it's not true at all. I'm just, I'm. it's shtick time, baby. Designing women, horrible. I recognize this. Don't have to stand alone. Never let you fall. Don't even 
I will know. I will know this when I see it. But I've I've heard this. Twenty one Jump Street. Of course, if they had gotten to the chorus, I would have known that. What the hell is this? I don't have any idea. You could pay me a million dollars and I would never be able to guess what the hell this is. You'd have to give me more clues. Oh, man. Hardcastle and McCormick. I know um, at some point I saw that. Oh, man. I know I know this. Such an 80s theme. If you could gag on 80s themes, you'd be vomiting listening to this 80s themes. It's it, and it's not really that bad. I like that 80s stuff with the synth and whatnot. Show me the answer. Of course, Hunter. He was on uh he's most memorable to me as Sam's buddy on Cheers. He played a a sports caster. Uh, who would come in and interview people in the bar, and he was funny, and he was sexist, and he's a alpha male, one of the old alpha males from the 80s, ladies and gentlemen. Big applause for alpha males. Yes, sir. Good. Onward. So long, Hunter. Oh, this sounds familiar, and I don't think I'm going to get this one. me i have no idea i'm gonna know it though i should have known it webster cute little boy been there done that oh i so know this it's not growing pains what is it this is going to kill me. It's not Valerie, is it? Or Hogan's family? Let's just see. Because I want to say it was sung by the same lady who was in the show. The Hogan family. That's why, because it was Valerie before, and that's why I said the Hogan family. I got it. Hold on, go back. So, um, I can't remember why Valerie left. And there's Justin Bateman. I never did the Google search on him. Justin Bateman Young. Justin Bateman Bikini. I won't do that. I never search the guys. Uh, I do remember this fella here. I remember her. She was cute. At this age and stage, I was always fantasizing about the women because little boys uh, between the age of like 7 and 15 that are attracted to women like practically every woman they ever see. Who is this? It's going to kill me because I know I'm going to know it and I'm going to be like, the music should have told me. Refresh my long term memory brain. Oh, it's a hospital show. Trevor John MD. Is that what I guessed earlier? I guessed Quincy earlier, I think, but it wasn't Quincy. Quincy was like the 70s Trapper John MD. Ah, good Lord. Back when bald dudes were cool, look at this guy here. He and I have the hairstyle that I never wanted. This stupid dome. Anyway, onward. I think it's give me a break. Oh, yeah. I told you. Give me a break. How do I know that? Oh, yeah. Fantasy City right here. Look at a young Joy. Oh, I shouldn't bring him up after I say Fantasy City. But <laughs> I, I used to love this girl over here, the blonde. I used to like this girl, too. And she had too dorky of a look. She could definitely beautify herself a little bit. And this girl, even though she was made to be dorky on here, she was also cute. Nell Carter, lovable lady. Any woman who cooks dinner for a family is paving the road to that family's heart. God bless you, Neil Carter. Rest in peace. And I remember this guy, too. He, uh, in real life, died of a heart attack. Joey Lawrence, of course, went on to fame in the show Blossom. 
and he was also sm- much smaller than this and um, singing on The Tonight Show. Which um, So he was always a bundle of talent as a little kid, always a very memorable kid. Haven't seen this show in years. I've wanted to revisit it, but it's not on any streaming services that I'm aware of. I think that's it, right? Did I complete this? Um, yeah. Okay. That's it. I kicked butt at that. Uh, I did miss some that I should have gotten. And what can I say? I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. Well, what can I do? Uh, well, that's it for this video. I'm just, I wanted to go through that. It was my idea to go through this and make shtick listening to these theme songs. And they were more obscure. That's why it was kind of fun compared to the first one. A lot of the ones in the first one were very obvious. And I should do more stuff like this. Name the tune crap. You know what I mean? Uh, so maybe I will. We'll see. Anyway, that's it, everybody. Have a nice day.